Until the early 1900s, there was only one basic system of schooling. All jumping horses during that time period utilized dressage-based practices relying heavily on the full seat. Riders were instructed to bend their body back from the hips upward over the cantle. To the modern horseman, this riding technique not only looks ridiculous but appears to be abusive to the horse as well. Here we see Italian cavalry officers demonstrating their riding and jumping skills with the relatively new forward riding methods introduced into the Italian cavalry by Federico Caprilli. Riders were now being taught to follow the forward motion of the horse with their balance in the stirrups rather than the seat. The equitation division was born to improve riding in the United States in all divisions. It started in the early 30s and with the first Maclay final in 1933. The following are just a handful of some of America's past and present riders who exemplify classical form in the equitation, jumper, and hunter divisions. Stick to the classical principle, and sooner or later you will realize that works. It worked in the past, and I'm convinced that it will work in the future too. We all have choices in life, and the choice is yours. Timeless classical riding, or following in the footsteps of other less classical winners. Should you decide to err toward the less classical, do make sure your special talents match those of the genius you are emulating. In other words, don't be a bad copy of a genius.